Hello everyone, welcome back to another CapCut tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do motion tracking, how to change your aspect ratio or change your frame from the horizontal, which you get if you have your phone sideways, or if you've got a DSLR camera or a regular camera, and how to make it vertical and how to keep what you want inside the uh, part that you're looking for. So let me show you here an example. If I'm just going to click on this, and I've got this lady here walking across. And you'll notice that I've moved the camera to follow her. So we are motion tracking her and nothing else. Here's the original shot so you can see what we started with. We've just got some ladies walking through. And basically, I've turned this into a vertical video and we are tracking her specifically. How did I do it? Let me show you. Let's get started. Okay, first step, I'm going to go ahead and add this video. Bang. Now, the next step is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trim it a little bit because there's a little bit too much. So when she's out of the video, I don't want that part. So let's just go ahead and trim this. There we go. Good. Okay, let's see what we got. Now let's start from the beginning. Now, right at this point, she is just coming into the frame. So what you want to do is you actually want to go and click out. I'm going to go right to the beginning here and we're going to go and we're going to change this into vertical to start. So we want to make this into a vertical video. I'm going to click on format. And then instead of the widescreen, which we've got here, I'm going to click on 916. And when I do that, well, it doesn't quite look right, right? Because you've got all the black bar at the top, black bar at the bottom. So we're going to now zoom in. How do you do that? You click once on the video here. And now if you use your two fingers, you can pinch. Nope, oh, that wasn't the one. Let's try that again. Pinch in. Okay, come on, Curtis. There we go. There we go. I got big fingers. What can I say? We're pinching in. And when you see the white bars on both the top and the bottom, like this, Let's go ahead and make sure. There we go. We're now pinched in and we're zoomed in. Okay, good. Now, when we're at this stage, the person that the thing that we want to track, whether it's a lady or whether it's a plane or your kids or whatever you filmed, you want that to be in the frame. So we're going to click on it and move. So I'm moving my finger to the left and I'm actually just moving the camera and try to make sure that the white line is at the top and on the side here in this case, but especially on the top so that the whole frame is filled. So this is where we want the first shot to start. Okay, good. Now, if you're following along with me, what you want to do next is you want to hit on that diamond with the plus sign right underneath her. What this is, is that is a keyframe. This enables motion tracking. Now, other programs have automatic, you know, AI-based motion tracking, but this one you got to do with your fingers because that's how it is. So we've created that button. I clicked on it. You'll see a red diamond has been placed inside my timeline at the middle here. I'm now going to move the timeline forward, and then when she's about to be out of frame, I'm going to recenter it. So I'm now going to click on that, and I'm going to move it so that she is back in the center. All right, good. Now let's see what we got. I'm going to click out, and you're going to see that another pink diamond was created. That is another keyframe. I'm going to move forward. She's out of the picture again. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to move so that she's back in the center again, something like this. And again, another pink keyframe will be created. So you'll see that it's creating keyframes. It's creating pink little diamond keyframes. And every time we do this, let's go to right about here. That's as far as we can go. We've created keyframes, and I'm just going to edit it to the end here. And now we've got four keyframes, and we're motion tracked. Let's watch. Hit play on the beginning. All right, we're going to go back to the beginning and hit play. Ready? There she comes into the frame. The camera is following her right to the end. I know it's very, very simple, guys, but that's how you do motion tracking and you can change your aspect ratio inside CapCut. Very easy. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.